Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now, Bob Arum has yet again explained that Kubrat Pulev will beat Anthony Joshua, and again, his argument is Andy Ruiz beat him, so therefore Kubrat Pulev will beat him. Now, he said and explained that Andy Ruiz knocked Anthony Joshua out and he is not a puncher, because he promoted 30 odd fights that Andy Ruiz Jr. had, so therefore he knows that Ruiz has, yes, fast hands, but he's not a powerful puncher, whereas Kubrat Pulev is a powerful puncher and therefore can hurt and also KO Anthony Joshua. Well, let me counter that quickly and say that Vladimir Klitschko is a harder puncher than Andy Ruiz Jr. He knocked Anthony Joshua down and caught him continuously, but did not knock him out. The reason why Ruiz was able to, the reason why AJ was unable to take those kind of punches at certain points in that fight is because Ruiz has fast hands. Bob Arum explained it right there in what he was saying. He has fast hands, but he's not necessarily the most powerful. You don't have to have a huge amount of power to knock someone out. Look at Tyson Fury, not considered a big powerful puncher, but he still stopped Deontay Wilder. So you don't have to have concussive knockout punching power to be able to get a KO against someone. It wasn't the power that bothered Anthony Joshua in that fight. It was actually the speed, because Anthony Joshua could not anticipate or even see the punches coming. That is what caused the biggest effect. That punch that hurt Anthony Joshua in the third round, he didn't see it, and it came from a 19 stone man who's fast and maybe not the most powerful puncher in the heavyweight division, but punches hard enough because we have seen that during his career. So, Andy Ruiz, yes, he has fast hands. Maybe he's not as powerful as someone like Wilder or Vladimir Klitschko, but Anthony Joshua has proven he can take punches from fighters like Klitschko. He'd proven that because he got knocked down and got up, taking those punches continuously throughout that fight. So AJ has proven he has the chin to deal with something like that, that kind of power. But it was the speed, the unpredictability, the inside fighting game of Andy Ruiz that cost Anthony Joshua. The way Bob Arum is explaining it did not play a factor in this fight. Because Ruiz, when he was looking for just one punch, after he hurt Anthony Joshua, he was just looking for one punch. He could not land it, and what it was is Ruiz needed to revert back to what he was doing before, what got him the success, and he realised that as the fight progressed, that it was his speed, not necessarily his power, that was causing an effect on Anthony Joshua. Does Kubrat Pulev have that kind of speed? No. Does he punch hard? Yes. Does he punch as hard as Vladimir Klitschko? No. And he has that kind of style, where Anthony Joshua will be able to see his punches coming. So, if AJ can see them, it doesn't matter if they are powerful, even as Vladimir Klitschko, Anthony Joshua can take those punches because he's done it in the past. Now, obviously in that fight with Vladimir Klitschko, Anthony Joshua was around 18 stone, maybe just under. That would have played a big factor because obviously the heavier you are, the better you will be taking punches. Not a lot, but it does improve your resistance somewhat. So Anthony Joshua in that fight with Klitschko, was taking punches better than he was necessarily in the Andy Ruiz Jr. fight. But if you look at the difference between Klitschko and Andy Ruiz, two completely different fighters. Pulev is not similar to Ruiz, not similar to Klitschko, but he's more similar to Klitschko than he is Andy Ruiz. And therefore, Anthony Joshua will be able to take his power punches because he will see them coming. He will know what kind of shots Kubrat Pulev will be throwing. And that is the key to it. If you can see the punches coming, then you can anticipate them. It's always the punch that a fighter does not see coming that causes the biggest effect. And we saw that in the Ruiz fight, the first one for Anthony Joshua. Didn't see the punch coming, so that caused the biggest effect. Whereas against someone like Pulev, who is slower and maybe a little bit more predictable, not a lot because he is still quite unconventional, but still, he won't have that unpredictability about him for Anthony Joshua to be caused major problems. And furthermore, you can see there are two completely different styles there. Kubrat Pulev does not have the same style as Ruiz. Ruiz had the style to bother Anthony Joshua, a style that Anthony Joshua will always struggle with. If he tries to fight them, if he boxes someone like Ruiz, he can win. Nine times out of ten. The other one was when Ruiz beat Anthony Joshua, but Anthony Joshua granted him that opportunity to get on the inside and have a fight with him, which was something he never should have been doing in there with someone like Ruiz, because it gives him an opportunity. Whereas Pulev is a completely different style. Pulev's style is never one 
that has caused Anthony Joshua any trouble. That is why I believe Anthony Joshua will beat Kubrat Pulev because I think Pulev is tailor made for Anthony Joshua and one where I believe Anthony Joshua will come out on top. Now, Balbaram explaining that he wants Kubrat Pulev to beat Anthony Joshua and he believes that that will happen. If he does believe that, then why is he pushing for a fight between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury? He did actually say, press pause for a moment. Let's not get too hasty with Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury because I believe Kubrat Pulev is going to win. I don't think deep down he believes that Kubrat Pulev is going to win, otherwise he would not have entered into talks for Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. So I don't think he believes Kubrat Pulev is going to win, but then again he's a promoter. He promotes Pulev, so he has to say that his man is going to win. But deep down beneath it all, he cannot believe that his man will win. There is that possibility that Kubrat Pulev springs an upset, but if you look at the fundamentals, if you look at the difference in class between AJ and Pulev, their resumes, who they fought and who they've beaten, then you will expect Anthony Joshua to come out on top. Barring a lucky punch, or maybe not a lucky punch because I don't believe many lucky punches are actually lucky punches because they are intended to cause harm, they are intended to land on their opponent. So lucky punches aside, Pulev can land that one punch that changes everything like Ruiz did. Yes, maybe Pulev does have similar, if not more power than Ruiz, but he doesn't have the same combinations, the speed, to bother Anthony Joshua. Kubrat Pulev doesn't have good combination punches like someone like Andy Ruiz Jr. That was what caused Anthony Joshua the biggest problems, the punches in bunches, not necessarily one at a time. AJ can take one at a time, and that is what will come from Kubrat Pulev. He's not fast enough to get into the pocket and land multiple punches on Anthony Joshua without sustaining a certain amount of damage himself and that is what will happen every time he tries to land those kind of punches and maybe even try those combinations. Anthony Joshua is faster than Kubrat Pulev so therefore Anthony Joshua will win out in that fight because Anthony Joshua is faster has more power than Pulev so that will cause a more devastating effect on Kubrat Pulev and also he doesn't have the same kind of punch durability as Ruiz. That will be a major factor also in this fight. Ruiz was able to walk through certain punches of Anthony Joshua and still keep going and that is what you need to do in the kind of fight that Andy Ruiz Jr made it in the first one. Pulev doesn't have that so he cannot make a fight of it in the same kind of respect. He will look to box more so than anything else. Ruiz was looking to fight. In a boxing match Anthony Joshua will beat Pulev but I don't believe Anthony Joshua will give him the credit. I don't believe Anthony Joshua will give him that kind of respect to box him over 12 rounds. No. AJ will go for the knockout because he can hurt Pulev. We've seen Pulev hurt and dropped in the past. So if Klitschko can hurt Pulev, then so can Anthony Joshua. So AJ will go in there with mean intentions looking for a KO because I believe that is what he is looking for out of this fight. And he can make it easier for himself than just boxing with this guy because this guy will want to box with Anthony Joshua, what Joshua needs to do is make him a fight because that is not what he wants to do. He wants to get behind his boxing. That awkward style, the bounciness, the jab, the pawing with it and the movement, the positioning that Kubrat Pulev does well, he will be comfortable if he is allowed to do that. So what Anthony Joshua will do is tear him away from that game plan and I believe that it will be just too much for Pulev in there because there are levels to this game. Anthony Joshua is levels above Kubrat Pulev. That's just the way it is. Andy Ruiz had that style to bother AJ, which is completely different to Pulev. So Bob Arum bridging the gap between that and saying Pulev can do it because Ruiz did is not true. Because different styles make different fights. Styles make fights as they always say. Ruiz had that style to bother Anthony Joshua. Pulev does not. Guys, anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.